Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to try to attempt the Converse shoe tumbler. I've never done this before. I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why I don't practice doing the more difficult things like this before I try to make a video. I'm not your average YouTuber. So here I am, first time ever doing it, just kind of winging it, and let's see how it goes. So I'm working with a 30 ounce thick tumbler. This thing is huge from Maker Flow Crafts, and I'll have my link for them down in the description. I painted it purple from Rust-Oleum, like no fancy name, just purple, just purple from Rust-Oleum. And then I painted a little section down here with some white um, apple barrel acrylic paint, and when I get some epoxy and stuff over this, I, depending on how it looks, I might take this off and spray paint it with actual spray paint. But I mean, we'll see. And then I got a big old container of these from Amazon and this is what I'm going to use for like the little loops to, you know, put the shoestrings in. But these are actually picture hangers. Um, that's what Amazon said. These are picture hangers. But I'm going to use them for this tumbler. And then I have some Loctite super glue. I got this at Dollar General, I believe. And then I also have a shoestring, which I also got from Amazon. Came in a pack of four and this one is 120 centimeters. Since I'm working with a pretty big tumbler, I just got the biggest one. Um, so we'll see if it works. I started by taking 10 of those little picture hangers and I covered up the part that the shoestring is going to go in. So it's just like the little part is going to be super glued onto the tumbler. And I'm going to paint these the same color as I did the tumbler. So I'm going to take these out back and spray what's showing here with the purple spray paint because I just want it to blend a little better. So I did a little test with one of these little um, pieces here and this, the uh, Loctite super glue didn't work very well. So I have some E6000 here and it is not clear, which kind of sucks, but I think I can add some more spray paint. But I have my little ta tape measure here and I am just trying to get everything like equally glued on here you know what I mean so it's not all wonky so I'm trying to put all of the clips like an inch apart I feel like that would be okay right So now that all of that side is on, I just laced my shoestring down on the bottom one here. And I'm just using it to kind of guide like where I want to start the second side. And I'm going to do it about right here. So I'm going to do this and I hope nothing falls off. And I think I, I got a pin somewhere. Let's see if I can make like a little mark. So now I'm just going to continue what I did on this side and make a second row.
that side was so much harder for some reason but I went ahead and just put the shoelaces in just to see what they would look like they're not pulled tight um, because I don't want to rip anything off I know this e6000 is supposed to sit for a while so I am actually just gonna go work on some other stuff and let this sit and then I will move on so I ended up taking some vinyl and outlining that just to make it look a little cleaner and now I have these decals that I found on Etsy. I'll make sure to link where I got them down below. And I'm going to put one here and I think one on the back. I'm using Hayes water slide paper. I will make sure to put my link for them down in the description as well. Um, they're my absolute favorite. I love Hayes water slide paper. It's all I've ever used, I think, from like the beginning. So like almost two years now. Oh my God. It's been almost two years I've been making cups. Sheesh. Time just flies. If you guys have been here for a while, y'all know how I do my water slides. I'll be making another very detailed water slide tutorial in the near future because the one that I made in the past has been getting a lot of traffic here lately. Like, just started amping up again, which is awesome. But it was long before I had any like good equipment and people are commenting on it like, hey, this sucks. <laughs> we can't hear you. So I'm going to have to make another one. But that's okay. And that is crooked. Urgh. I can fix this. Nobody panic. I couldn't fix it. <laughs> so here I am with another one. That made me so mad too. <laughs> I'm laughing now, but at, like in the moment I was so mad. <laughs> I did get this one on though. So that's the back of it. I just need to get something there and see See what happened? Ugh, I'm still kind of mad. <laughs> I'm going to stand it up this time so I can get a better view, I guess, of how it needs to be. So sorry that you're missing this, but it's, it's nothing special. So now I'm going to put the laces back in and I'm going to try to pull them tighter. Whenever you're doing this, just make sure your laces are not um, twisted because that can happen pretty easily. So, like, just take your time and make sure that everything is good and straight. And since I've already kind of mapped it out and I know it's going to look decent, I say decent. I know it sounds bad to be like, oh, it's going to look decent. But, like, I just, I feel like if I'm like, I know it's going to look so good, like, that just makes me sound super, uh, arrogant and I don't like that so it's gonna look decent it's gonna be fine I'm just gonna go ahead and super glue it as I go in spots um, so it can stay in place because that's what super glue does right so I've got my Loctite super glue that I was going to use in the beginning for the little rings over here but it didn't work too well but I figured it would look, work pretty good on fabric
did it oh my god <laughs> so this is what it looks like I think that looks totally fine on the back um I love this so much I am probably going to make several more of these for a vendor event that I have coming up but this before epoxy is the end result um, I will definitely post like the actual final result to my community page so if you ha guys haven't noticed I post a lot to my community page um, some of it for like public and then some of it for my monthly members only but this will go in my community page once there's epoxy and stuff on it but I know it's going to probably take like ooh four plus coats of epoxy it's going to be a big heavy cup so I wanted to show you guys the end result before I did that because I know it's going to take forever so yeah that's it I hope you guys like it and like always I have your cup of positivity for today and I really really like this one it says life is like riding a bicycle to keep your balance you must keep moving and that was said by Albert Einstein that's it for my Converse Tumblr tutorial. I really hope you guys like it. I hope it was easy to follow. Like I said, this was my very first time doing this, so it was completely new to me too. So I'm going to put this on my turner, put a bunch of epoxy on it, and pray to the Tumblr gods that it does not fall off or anything messes up because I would cry. So I hope you guys have a great day today. If you guys have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.